For this first tutorial in the Getting Started series, I'm going to give you an overview of the folder system and demonstrate how to import new files into Genius Prime. Let's begin with the folders system. Within Genius, the left sources panel displays all of your files. Here, you will find all of your locally stored files under the local folder, connections to any shared databases, as well as options to import files from the NCBI and Uniprot databases. Within the Sources panel, folders are organized alphabetically. Any folders containing subfolders will have an arrow next to them. Selecting this will expand or collapse the subfolders under that main folder. New folders can be created by selecting the Add button from the top toolbar and choosing New Folder. Alternatively, you can press the Control, Shift and N buttons on your keyboard as a shortcut. Simply give the folder a name and select OK. The new folder will now be visible in the Sources panel. You can then click and drag folders into other folders to create subfolders. Additionally, there's the option to color code folders. To do this, right click on a folder and select Set Folder Color. Then pick a desired color and click OK. Now that's a brief overview of the folder structure in Genius. I'll now describe the file import options. There are various ways of importing files into Genius. Firstly, select the folder in the Sources panel that you want the new file or files to be added to. Then click the Add button in the toolbar and choose to import files, a folder, or a different source, such as a vector NTI database. For this demonstration, I will choose to import files. In the new window, simply select a desired file on your system, or shift click on multiple files to import more than one. Genius imports a wide variety of file types, such as FASTA, GenBank, and BAM files. To import the files, select the Import button. Another way you can import files into Genius is to click and drag files from another window. Simply highlight the desired files and drag them into a folder in the Sources panel. The file will then be saved to the selected folder. Genius is also connected to the NCBI and Uniprot online databases, so you can quickly import desired files without leaving the software. There are various sub-databases of NCBI you can search, such as Nucleotide, Protein, and PubMed. For this example, I will use the Nucleotide search. You can enter your search query into the search bar. Additionally, selecting the More Options button will enable you to enter a specific search condition for your query. You can use the plus and minus buttons to add or remove additional search conditions. I will select a search by accession number and enter the number I'm interested in in the search bar. Pressing the search button will perform the search query. All results will be returned underneath, and here you can preview the files. To save a copy to your database for editing, simply click on the file and drag it into the desired folder. When working with large databases, it can be very useful to use the search features within Genius to quickly find the files you're looking for. For example, I'm wanting to find a file containing the PBR322 sequence, which I have saved in one of my local folders. To do this, I will use the search bar in the top right corner to enter my search term. Notice as I type my search term, the snippet updates the results in real time. By default, Genius will search everywhere, meaning all local and shared folders will be searched. Alternatively, you can switch to just searching the currently selected folder by changing everywhere to this folder. I can see my file of interest has appeared, so I can click on it to be taken to the file. Additionally, typing in a search query and pressing enter will open the advanced search at the top. Here, you can apply filters to perform a more specific search. For further tutorials on getting started with Genius, refer to the other videos in this series.